Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from U.S. Broadcast Distribution, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Rakeen 3D Virtual Studio. It's this system here. It's a 4U rack-mountable system with XLRs in the front and SDI and HDMI inputs in the back. It can also take in NDI and output NDI. So this system is designed to work either as a standalone unit or as part of your larger switcher studio. So you can have it output to a traditional switcher like an ATEM or a Grass Valley or any other SDI-based switcher, or you can have it integrate into a, one of the newer NDI-based switchers like a vMix or a TriCaster. Now, you might be asking yourself, what's the difference between a 2D virtual studio and a 3D virtual studio? A 2D virtual studio is where you aim a camera at a green screen and chroma key it over the image. Now, some systems are able to do some moves on that where you can zoom in and out, but a 3D virtual studio actually moves around the set and lets you change perspective in real time. And the Rakeen 3D virtual set studio does just that, and it comes with a ton of virtual studios. So let's take a look at it. The Rakeen 3D virtual interface is broken up into several areas in a very logical fashion. In the upper left here, we have different inputs. On the right, we have program preview. In the middle here, we have some of our, our program and preview bus, uh, a physical transition section for us to do uh, dissolves and takes, uh, turn our DSKs on and off. And down here, we have different virtual set uh, positions for our virtual set. And then on the right here, we have our audio mixer. So you can see some levels coming in from our media here. And you can see my camera here in the upper left. And then this is a camera of the back of the unit. So you can see here's the SDI inputs, SDI output, um, HDMI in, HDMI out. This is the serial control cable for the control surface. And then we also have two media slots here. These are just animated looping graphics. Um, and then we have two stills, which I'm using as my talent right now because my uh, green screen studio isn't a full full screen shot. And then just two graphics elements here. So let's, um, let's start by showing you the cool stuff. So if we do a transition here, if we click on these different positions, this is allowing us to move to different parts of the studio. And I'm doing that in preview, but if I wanted to do that in program, I can do it live as well. So if I need to position something before I take to it, if I just want to do a dissolve to it, I can do it that way. Or if I want to do it live, I can run from a wide shot to a close up. Now let's take a quick look at how we um, control what I'm going to go out to a really wide shot here. I'm going to show you how we configure what goes into different slots. And I know these guys are probably pretty small at this zoom range, but this is our, our two talent inputs. And right now, if I wanted to change them, so this is my, uh, my, my routing matrix, so to speak, of how I configure uh, what is being put there. And if I wanted to put my camera out here in the middle, hi, now I'm the virtual set, but that, that doesn't look right because I'm kind of cut off. This is a great example where you would want a, uh, a full screen body shot. Um, if I wanted to put myself into the screen, then I would just select that one. And then if I wanted to put the other video over there, that I've now selected my two cameras as my B sources. So it's really easy to input uh, video into these screens or as talent. So let's head over to one of these screens. So I'm going to go from our wide shot, and then I'm just going to poke my finger in here and say, oh, look, this is the SDI you know, input. And then I'm going to go over to um, this shot, which is my guy over here. And then I'm going to come over to me. And then here we are. So you can see it's really easy to control the virtual studio by just clicking the different inputs and clicking the different positions. And we can also bring up um, different downstream keys, different layers, very easily just by turning them on and off. So that's a quick overview of how the, uh, the UI works. Now I'd like to show you a little bit about the control surface. The, this is the V-Key 100. This is the Rakeen Studio, 3D Studio control surface. And it has many of the things you might expect. It's got a program bus, a preview bus, a uh, delegation bus, uh, mappable functions, downstream keys, um, media, 
take and auto, and it also has a T-bar for transitioning between different inputs. So if I wanted to just do a nice little dissolve between program and preview, or it also has this um, PTZ controller here. And if I want to adjust that shot, you can see I'm using this PTZ controller to zoom in and make changes to whatever's in preview. So I can, on the fly, if I wanted to zoom into this shot and make adjustments with it without going into any kind of virtual studio, I'm able to make these adjustments right here, dissolve to them, make more changes to whatever's in preview. and dissolve to it, all using the control surface. So we can pu punch up our different cameras. We can punch up our, our um, back of our unit here. We can bring in four different uh, virtual studio positions. And we can take and transition between them very easily using the VKey 100 control surface. So I want to show you some of the real power behind the Rakeen 3D Studio. And this is the 3D Virtual Set Editor. So if I go in here, I can see that this is, in fact, a true 3D Virtual Set, even all the way down to the chairs in the back here. And I can come in here, and I can select any element that I want and make changes to it. So there's a whole list of these really attractive textures. And if I want to you know, load a different texture, uh, let's try something dramatically different. So you can see that we can customize this set to be any way you want. And you can select different elements. And if I wanted to move this down a little bit or you know, have the um, different elements of the set be in different places that helps out better, or if I want to um, give this a, a slightly different color, I can make a lot of different granular changes to it to make the set my own. But one of the really neat things is is that uh, the Rakeen 3D Studio has a wizard. So this is a set that it comes with, and you can modify it to make it look like what you want. But you can also uh, start from scratch with what is called these templates. And these are uh, different design layouts. So I can select this floor, and then I can populate this room with different content. And I'm going to choose this layout here. And the next step is to uh, apply materials to it. So if I click here, this is giving these walls a, a, a real different um, color to them. So you can make dramatic changes to the way that the set looks by stepping through and giving different elements uh, different colors. So you can see I've I've given these different parts of the room different textures. Now, the next step here is to uh, use these pins, which are predefined areas, to populate the set with different content. So I can put, um, like if I wanted to put a bench back here, for example. Or if I wanted to put a desk over here, I could select from desks and then pick a desk, and then it just pops right in. Or if I select from the screens here, I can put a screen there. Or there's specific content for certain sets. So if I wanted to change this to be some geometric content. Or if I go up here and I select from uh, truss, I can put um, some truss in there really easily. Or let's go with um, lamps. So this is a, a different lamp that I could put up there, or here's a, here's a lighting array. So you can see very quickly, I've made this 3D environment, which is purely my own, from scratch, using this gi gigantic library of content. So here, let me just select one, one more lamp. And I like these, uh, these things. So these are little wooden. Uh, elements here. So you can add different content um, all over the place using these pins, which are sort of pre-laid out to uh, give you easy, um, easy places to put things and uh, without having to think too hard about it. So very quickly, I've made a set 
that is all my own using the Rakeen 3D Studio wizard, and then I can take this right back into my live production and use this immediately. So that's the Rakeen 3D Virtual Studio in a nutshell. It's an amazing live 3D virtual set production system which has a lot of applications. If you have any questions about the product, please feel free to reach out to us at usbroadcast.co via our email or our Facebook page. Thanks for watching. Thank you.